Hey Aries, welcome to Share Ascensions. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be um, your general monthly reading for the month of August. Any information you need, you can find it within the description box down below. Let's go ahead and get started here for you, Aries. Um, there will be an extended to this over on Patreon, so you guys are more than welcome to check out the Patreon page when you are finished up here. I also have Facebook and Instagram where I post daily energies. So let's get started here for you, Aries. Monthly reading for Aries. August. Come on for Aries. Okay, we have potential, we have purity, and we have opportunity. Okay, so we'll get the tarot out here before we figure out what's going on here. But you do have forgiveness on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like that is tied in with purity because it's like there's some kind of purification process going on here for some of you. But I do feel like you're having to shed someone's energy or some kind of, um, not necessarily the entire experience, but just maybe some resentment you're holding on to from an experience for some. Let's go ahead and look at what's going on with potential. You guys can ask a yes or no question in the end here. We are going to be clarifying everything over on Patreon as well. So what's going on with potential for Aries, please? What's going on with potential for Aries, please? What's going on with potential for Aries? Okay, we're getting the Nine of Wands. Some of you could have your Moon in Sagittarius. What else? Ace of Swords, um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And Strength, Leo Energy. Okay. I feel like there's a specific, there's, there's a definitely an obstacle here that you're facing because there's mountains in the uh, background of every single one of these cards. Um, and there's even a mountain right here with potential. So yeah, I feel like there's definitely a mountain to climb in a situation. Some of you, this mountain could look very familiar. All right. So it's like you, you could have gone through a situation in the past. Maybe you tried to build a business. It didn't work out. So that could be, uh, what this wounded warrior energy is about because the nine of wands can be, or this could be a connection, you know, maybe a connection didn't work out and you're like, Oh, I faced a similar obstacle. In my, in my last connection, you know? So some of you, this could be a problem that start that starts with you, right? It could be that you're carrying a new, the same problem into a new connection here, right? Um, and that can happen sometimes. Sometimes people get into connections and they expect someone to put up with something and they're like, okay, well, they're not going to go for it. I'm going to do this. You know, I want to try it with someone else rather than just kind of figuring out why nobody wants to put up with that specific trait or, um, you know, a habit, whatever it is here, right? Everybody has their thing. So I'm not bashing any Aries here. I love my Aries, but um, this could also be someone you're connected with, but you do have that wounded warrior energy. So that tells me that there's been some kind of battle here. All right. And you are kind of on guard or on defense, but there's potential for victory. There's potential for something to happen here. The strength card kind of says to tough it out here. Uh, some of you, this could be to have discipline to have patience in a situation. Others of you, this could be a person who expects you to put up with something here, right? It could be someone who wants to continue the fight, okay? So the strength card could be you kind of persevering through that and saying, you know what, I'm not going to deal with that. And that could be what this purity is here. What's going on with purity for my Aries people? It could be a Leo for some of you. What's going on with purity for my Aries people? The world, fixed energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. Three of Cups. Um, some of you could have Mercury and Cancer. And the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, two majors under purity. So like I said, you guys, there's this full on energy of closure. Uh, because the world card, it's like closing one chapter, stepping into a new one. It's literally like stepping out of one world and into a new one. So whatever this is here that you're breaking off, that you are cleansing yourself of, it's going to bring about a change in all areas of your life. You know, It's something that's not just going to exist in one area. It's going to change everything for you. But I feel like it's going to be really good. It's going to serve you well. A lot of you, this could be a move. You could be moving environments here because the world can represent and move and so can the will of fortune and you have the three of cups here which can also represent community or a new environment so some of you this could be um you know that you're making new friends here you know you're discovering the people you belong with there's a sense of belonging for some of you some of you there could be a re uh, a reunion here with a person could be a fixed sign aquarius Taurus, scorpio or a leo uh just judging by that will of fortune because it can sometimes be a return okay so some of you, if you are kind of saying, no more, I'm not going to put up with this habit here. This could be an ultimatum for some of you guys uh, that, that has been taking place, you know. And you're like, if this doesn't change, then, you know, I can't deal with that. I'm not going to deal with that. This person could be changing that, okay. That could be what's going on here with the uh, Wheel of Fortune. 
because it could be that this purity is coming from another energy here where they're like, wow, I do have that really bad habit. Why would somebody want to put up with that? You know, so what's going on with opportunity? What's going on with opportunity? Ace of Pentacles, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Four of Cups, Moon and Cancer. You got the Moon in that card too. Some of you, like I said, I feel like there could have been something that failed in the past. Like I think this could have been a, a business venture or something of that nature, some kind of creative endeavor that uh, didn't really work out the way that you wanted it to work out. So that forgiveness could be you kind of forgiving yourself and moving on a new opportunity. Maybe you had missed one, or um, something could have happened at a job where you feel like you're gonna you're gonna fail at that, or you know, it could be something like it could even be school as well. Um, so what else is going on here? One more card. One more card from the Aries people for August. Um, nine of cups so uh, Jupiter and Pisces you know I feel like you're in a space where you're like I'm going to see what happens you have the ten of swords showing up right here okay so yeah I definitely feel like something um, major happened here in the past that was really painful okay it was really hard to accept or it was a really painful ending or a painful truth that came in here yeah the four of cups to me that can be a card of something that's um, you know not really uh, easy to accept you know it's very challenging to um, to welcome in this this outcome, whatever this Ten of Swords energy was here. But, um, you know, the Ace of Pentacles being present, I feel like that is the opportunity, and this could be a connection, okay? Um, I feel like for a lot of you, what I'm getting here is that um, whatever this new opportunity is, it may come in kind of... Um, Like the face that it has, it just seems as if it's, it doesn't seem as fulfilling. It doesn't seem appealing to you. But I feel like you need to dig deeper into specific opportunities that are here for you. Uh, she's kind of sitting there. Um, at the, you know, the way that I normally read this card, because the, the person in the card is normally sitting up against a tree. I see that as going to the root of a situation, trying to dig things up, get more information. So um, in regards to opportunities, I want to say get more information on the opportunities that are presenting themselves to, to you, because they might just be more fulfilling than you expected them to be okay so this could be a person who seems kind of boring on the outside you know they seem kind of just meh right but in getting to know them they're actually really smart really funny you know they could be the full package and you just don't know it yet right i feel like a <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you have just been in this space um, of feeling like you're going to get hurt or just not really wanting to learn more um, in a situation. That's kind of how this feels to me, Aries. It's like you're tired, okay? it's your, You're tired, and I get it. But I feel like there is potential for something to go really well. I mean, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the World, the Strength card, the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, okay? But you start off with a Nine of Swords. So it's like you could either have this like on guard, on defense. I'm not letting anything in here. I'm not letting anything put me in that Ten of Swords energy again. Or you could have this Nine of Cups, right? Either way you go. Um, yeah, I just feel like it's it's hard either way, right? It's hard either way. It's hard to keep going, but it's hard to stop, okay? It's hard to not let anything else in and to stay stagnant. And, you know, I feel like you'll move when you're ready. You have purity here. I feel like you're going to start moving. I feel like you're going to open up. And it is going to be scary, but I think it is going to bring you fulfillment, all right? So um, we are going to be clarifying and seeing what else we're getting over on Patreon. But let's go ahead and get your yes or no question ready here, Aries. We'll do another yes or no question over on Patreon can't leave my patrons out. Um, it's 50, uh, Patreon is $15 a month. You guys get access to all kinds of exclusive content and extendeds for the monthlies and mid-monthlies. So let's see what we get here for my Aries people. Yes or no for Aries for August, please. Most likely will, okay? So we have most likely will. So go ahead and get your yes or no question ready. Uh, for those of you who are joining me, uh, joining me over on Patreon, you're also more than welcome to watch out for your other signs. But if this is where we part, Aries, thank you all so much for watching and supporting me. And you all have a great month. Bye.